You know, one of the things I get asked about a lot, um, especially during January, which is presumably because a lot of people are starting to think about losing weight or goals like that is, you know, what is it that explains the day-to-day -day fluctuation in weight and how valuable is it to be, you know, tracking the scale daily for weight loss? And, um, you know, so I, I want to kind of offer some thoughts around this. So, first off, I, I'm not in the camp that says never look at the scale. I, I think the scale is a valuable tool. Um, in sort of a macro sense. So, you know, weekly changes, certainly monthly changes on the scale, especially when coupled with other information like how your clothing fits, uh, you know, frankly, how you look um, in the mirror with nothing on. I mean, these things are demonstrable, um, you know, tools that can give you feedback as to body composition. Um, but again, I wanna come back to an important concept, which is when people say lose weight, what they really mean is lose fat. You know, never in the history of civilization, you know, maybe with the exception of someone training for the Tour de France, have you ever heard somebody say, I just want to lose muscle. You know, obviously a professional cyclist might actually want to shed some upper body lean mass. Um, so for all intents and purposes, when someone says I want to lose weight, they mean they want to lose fat. And when you talk about fat loss, you know, at a sustainable level, so not going on some crazy crash diet or not just doing a water only fast where you're obviously going to lose a lot of weight. Um, you know, to lose a pound of fat in a week is, is a lot. Um, and if you think about that, that's, that's remarkable, right? That would be, you know, if someone told you, Hey, you could lose 50 pounds of fat in a year, which of course is not realistic because at some point most people don't have that much weight. And if they did, um, I said, wait, there you go. Most people don't have that much fat, and if they did, they'd certainly plateau. But the, the point here is, um, what does it mean when you weigh yourself every single day, and what explains those changes? Now, for the last four days, just for the purpose of illustration, I've weighed myself every day, and there's been about a swing of a pound, 1.8 pounds has been the swing in those four days. Um, and I would say I'm in a very weight-stable place. Um, so think about that for a second. If there's a 1.8 pound swing, and by the way, this is also weighing myself at the exact same time every day. So this is sort of first thing in the morning, empty the, empty the bladder and, and, and hop on the scale. So in theory, that should be the least um, impacted weight I'm going to see. And yet to have that much variation, uh, not that uncommon for me, actually. Um, now you add in other factors that can impact weight loss, such as you had a super salty meal the day before. Um, in the case of women, their menstrual cycle can easily um, cycle water weight on and off. Um, and if you're trying to capture signal in the noise of one to two pounds of weight swinging every day, it becomes very frustrating because the signal might be an ounce a day of fat loss. Um, again, you could lose two ounces per day, but that's really about the upper limit of fat loss while you're eating reasonably. Um, so if you're trying to capture one ounce of weight loss in the noise of one to two pounds of swing, what does that tend to do? Well, that tends to create a lot of anxiety and uncertainty and frankly can be quite discouraging. And it's, it's that reason that I think daily examination of the scale is problematic because if it takes you off your goal, um, it's, it's defeating the purpose. So instead, what you want to do is sort of say, look, I have faith in what I'm doing. I'm taking an approach. It may or may not work, by the way. In other words, I may be sitting here in two months and this hasn't produced the outcome I seek, but I'm going to at least momentarily put faith in an approach, which is I'm going to eat this way, I'm going to exercise this way, I'm going to do X, I'm going to do Y, and I'm going to check in once a week, but I'm going to commit to doing this for a period of time, say, so call it eight weeks. That to me is a much better approach because if you're going to vacillate and get frustrated when you're, the scale is up two pounds and say, well, to hell with this, I'm gonna go and you know, not gonna skip, you know, I'm gonna skip my workout or I'm not gonna eat this way or that way, um, you're, you're gonna get out of this vicious cycle. Um, and, and so, uh, or rather into a vicious cycle. So you know, again, you wanna think of this as if you're trying to lose weight, um, it's, 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 not a, it's not a straight shot. Right, it's it, it even for a successful weight loss program, it tends to look like that if you were weighing a person every single day. So, anyway, hope that provides a little bit of insight into sort of um, what is normal and what is to be expected for those of you that are trying to lose fat.